about 45 minutes ago and now the sun is absolutely beating down it is now yeah, one of the marquee events then. on the hsbc world seven series this match eight day one of the men's draw and it's png up against scotland last week's bronze medalists scotland went within a whisker of downing fiji on the cup draw last week as well and now up it goes down it comes scotland taking in nicely there's horn cleaning it up for scotland Wild goes across the field Fallon's low hands of fleming running back in field he's the quickest man on the field for scotland fleming they'll be looking to give him plenty of possession scotland as they Take it on after PNG can see the penalty. Good hands from Scotland early on, looking to create some space down this right hand side. And they do so, and they do it well. It'll be Robertson, the captain. Robertson plants it down for Scotland's first inside 45 seconds. 90 second try in his career. He is a great finisher, part of Team GB when they won the silver medal in Rio last year, and he's bought that experience. He's bought the Naus and the intellectual property back to the Scottish team. They look such a different outfit in 2017 of the four tournaments. They've been the dark horses and they've opened their account exactly the way that they finished in Wellington with that bronze medal that you're talking about. Just class, working the ball down one side and then efficiently moving it back down. And as we know in the game of rugby, the ball will always beat the man and that's all it was, was just draw and pass out to Robertson. Ran up his 50th tournament last week as well, Mark Robertson. So congratulations to our opening try scorer in this Pool C game between the Scots and PNG. Comes low. He doesn't reach the 10 metre line. It'll be a Papua New Guinean restart. Bang on halfway. The free kick is theirs. What can they get? happening here my Kurt PNG's first touch of the ball in Sydney and it's tidy work set play all good for PNG now they're looking to stretch Scotland to the right good ball out in front there for Vali Valley goes one further, and it's a terrific ball for PNG. Kapana! Papua New Guinea hit back. The underdogs strike a shot on Scotland. Concerns for Scotland, coach, because that's the first time that PNG have touched the ball. And showing the threats they have, showing good width, and just moving the ball to where the space is. And then Kapana still had a lot of work to do here. He bobbled it, got steps inside Fleming and then just outgassed the sweep up and low. Thought he was gonna pass it, but he put it down. Great response. It all began on halfway with Scotland not going the distance at the restart and PNG, they can pay moments later. game done and we are all square at five apiece nice work from the restart from Scotland here they come again with Lyle edging up the field and he it is with Fleming Fleming kicks for himself Fleming locks into a foot race Fleming looking to get around the puppy getting defender who does so well getting back but has knocked on oh he covered it beautifully but a little knock at the last moment here Wesley Farley had to put the jet shoes on because we know how quick Fleming is. And there you see Varley getting back, just not unable or just unable to control the ball. And I was lucky enough, Sean, a couple of years ago to be in Port Moresby for the South Pacific Games. And a lot of these players that you're seeing here were involved in that. They're really keen to make a mark for the Commonwealth Games next year on the Gold Coast and also hoping to qualify for the Sevens World Cup. They do well there at scrum time also to 
Get some pressure on Scotland there now. Go over the top. Low. Out to Fleming again. Can he get there? No, it's a nice low tackle from the try scorer. Kapana and PNG force the penalty as well, right on their line. Super work for Papua New Guinea. Short on a couple of flies themselves, the underdogs here. Here is Tokovai. It's coming out the back. Now it's slapped back by Scotland. They get possession back and have numbers to work with on that far side as well. They should be able to just put it through the hands here. Scotland, they needed to go one outside. Instead, they're going to blow through the middle of the Papua New Guinea defence and Margin, he's back out to five, and he is George Hall, the try scorer. There is seven in his career. They had numbers, they were just, well, they're basically all out there, just one player out to the right, everyone else down this left hand channel. And they get it to Horn, he throws the dummy at players to spare, two out to his left, opted to go through. One of the smaller players in the Scottish team. He certainly has a big heart and gets the job done. Clip over the years if he hadn't have scored that try, Willie Lossé, eh? because little Georgie Horn had plenty of support outside the conversion. He's good, 12 5 the score. We've got a minute to run in the first half. Classic Braveheart set up there. I love it. Oh, that's a big shot from the restart. Coming through and laying some smack on was Robertson. Tap and go quickly, Scotland. It's all coming off Robertson's huge hit at the restart. Oh, that's been knocked on. That's poor. Very poor. There's that big hit that you're talking about from Mark Robertson. He had his eyes only on the player that was catching the ball, and poor old Daniel Lopper got the whole 92 Ks. Crouch. Fine. This is tough going for PNG as they try and work it from just in front of their sticks. Half time, sorry, going. It's knocked on. Scotland will look to play on here. That might even be a penalty. Point. Nope. Half time. Half time to call. Off the back of that knock on. And at the break, seven points is the difference between Scotland and Papua New Guinea. Scotland coming off third place finish last week in Wellington. And looking to continue on. In that same vein here in Sydney, then restart to the second half is good, and Scotland will come away with possession. You've yeah, got to be stronger at the breakdown there. And Godsmart came in, he had to move bodies, and he didn't. And so the referees are always going to give the opposition the penalty on that account. Goes over the top. Rolling will be the call against Scotland there. So poor discipline here from Scotland creeping in and gifting. Up on New Guinea, a chance to try and make it work with ball in hand. The nice stutter step at the line from Tatut, and they're going to go through. How about this? Papua New Guinea are going to draw level with Scotland. It is Geist the man. With the try, but the lead-up work from Tatut was fantastic. Yeah, that's where it all came from. They pushed it wide, one-on-one -on -one situation here, and he looked up and says, I'm going to have a crack here, and does exactly what he needs to do, brings in the two defenders, the pass on the inside, and Emmanuel guys couldn't believe his luck. The biggest cheer, probably coming from Port Moresby at the moment. for their more discipline early in this second half. They gifted. 
didn't get a chance to attack and attack. They did. We are all square. 12 plays 12. Five to go. Yeah, yeah. G go deep with the kick and try scores for Scotland. Horn trying to slide his way through and that right side. Scotland and that's not the way to go. Big tackle, huge tackle in fact. He's had some Shots in this one. Shoulders being dropped into torsos left and right. Here comes Fleming. Fleming, lovely offload from Fleming to Horn, who catches the chalk. It's been a real feature of this PNG side as their defence. And have a look at this spectacle that's coming in. Bang! Get a bit of that, says Wesley Varley. Then he got back and he was actually involved in the tackle on the sideline. One of their big hitters. Rolling subs going on at the moment. PNG have got their captain, Kalua, on ice. <laughs> that is good from you, Lossay. Let's see if they're toasting with that a little later. They are well and truly in this one, Papua New Guinea. Both on this occasion, they get it wrong and they give it straight to Scotland. Reaching and scoring. Goes Scotland and it is Godsmark with the try. Made his debut on the Gold Coast a couple of seasons ago. Second try in the seven series career. So he's just one of those hard working type of guys that you love to have in your team. He seizes the opportunity and puts Scotland back in front. Seven once more, and it is Scotland with their noses in front. Slap back by the Scots, and then another big tackle. Oh, they're laying some boom down out in the middle. PNG. Don Weldon Fleming goes through his legs. Just kind of a little wary now, the Scots of some of these Papua New Guinean shoulders because they are going off in the middle of the SFS. Lovely offload. Horn can't bring it in. Back to Papua New Guinea. Well, they're flying missiles, aren't they? The Papua New Guinea team. They're enjoying seeing a blue shirt in front of them. It's either Carlo or Tatura just caught the one. Bang, there it is, Tatut, straight in on the try score at Godsmark. That is great hitting from the kid, Papua New Guinea team. Nine, bro, sub. Well, I always thought we'd struggle to match the terrific hairstylings of the Blitzbok of the South Africans with Heddled and Africa. So, Bellis and Atlas, but hey, there's a new, there's a new run in town. Oh, the puppy gets. That's terrific work. Yeah, they're following the Carl Tanana style here. Sick. They do it better than KT. And can they make something of this? No, they've knocked on at the line and again. Possession goes back to Scotland who get it wrong as well. It's a double knock. It'll be a Scottish feed to the scrum. They're the type of team that frustrate you because the longer you leave PNG in the game. The more problems you're going to have, and you're going to wake up, you're going to have some sore bones as well because of the hits that are coming in. So, Scotland just need to go back to their pattern. And Callum McRae, their Come coach, on. said at the half time break that they need to Seven draw them more. in and then Seven. go wide. Seven. Thank you. Turn back on. Let's go. Crouch. Line. Set. Scotland 
it's been a scratchy performance at best against Sun, who have mixed up some sparking attack with some heavy defense. They get it wrong again, Scotland. That one is in a touch. They go with a quick line out. Still a chance to draw this game, Papua New Guinea. They would take that every day of the week. They won't get a chance, though. This will be it. You'd have to say Scotland being set to go in again. Not before they get rocked a couple more times, though, by this staunch PNG defence. And the slide at the line is going to bring five points for the number four, Bobby Beatty. And the ref's going to have a word too. I think that uh, Kapana, one of the try scorers for PNG, is going to spend some time in the bin. Won't affect the outcome of this match. High tackle, zero tolerance, and it's correct as well. So Kapana has gone. Try scored by Beatty. Scotland take a comfortable victory. Well, it wasn't comfortable, but looks it on the scoreboard. But Vidi had a lot of work to do. Just the, you can't grab a man above the shoulders. So Scotland finish with the final try, and that makes it a 14-point margin in their favour. Full-time, 26 points to 12 to Scotland.